How many times have you seen yourself in a situation where you wanna make a great first impression and you just, I don't know, run out of words or feel like insecure, you just wanna make that great remark to sound smart and impress the other person, but all of a sudden you just don't know what to say and how to, you know, uh, pitch yourself, right? Let me share the six steps that I think uh, you should take into consideration in order to craft a perfect pitch. Number one, be authentic. Uh, people are really eager to find humans behind the professionals, right? So you want to use authenticity in order to show who you are also as a person, you know, as a team member, a future team member. So you want to share, you know, why you love architecture, what are your passions, how you can actually transition those passions into your career. That will create an idea of who you are and, and you know, where you're, I don't know, uh, what are you driven by and, and it will help to build that uh, relationship that you're about to start through this first impression. The other way of, um, you know, being authentic is just to talk about openly about your struggles. Like, I don't know, you can pick a real story uh, where you face some sort of difficulties, a struggle, and just explain openly how you overcome it and actually how you learn from it. Second, be honest. Everyone wants to know where you are, how you actually envision yourself. So by stating clearly where you think you are with humility, please just leave aside uh, the architect's ego. So where you are and where you wanna go next, that will actually help uh, the interviewer to understand who you are uh, as, a, as a professional and where are your interests. So that's very, very uh, important. Just try to be as honest as you can. That will build the credibility uh, in yourself. Three, highlight your value. So obviously this is super important because it's gonna help to build, you know, the idea of how much you can contribute. What is the real value to bring you on board? So you wanna have ready a list with all your accomplishments, uh, past achievements, you know, in, in former experiences uh, where you are going to be very, very, con you know, concise. So concrete actions and results. So that is going to, as I said, help the interviewer to understand, you know, what was your role and involvement in that particular situation and how you actually contributed. Four, show determination. This is also very important. It's gonna, um, I don't know, kind of tailor who you are in the long term. Like you have to be honest, uh, as I mentioned before, about what are your expectations in terms of, you know, working with them. Like. Where, where are your goals in life and as a professional? So you may have three specific goals that will also help you to, you know, uh, kind of react fast if they get to actually ask you about specific goals. So have ready those or set those three goals so so you, you know how to articulate those ideas when the moment comes and actually explain them uh, how you think that you will uh, kind of get closer to achieve those goals within a better company, how you're gonna, um, you know, work towards those goals if they, if, if they hire you, if you get involved in, in their team. Five, shape your pitch. This is uh, too obvious and very, very, uh, you know, common sense to me, but not, it's, it's impressive, like how little people actually prepare their interviews. So you have to do some research. This is key. You have to research about the company, about team members, about the interviewer that you have scheduled the interview with, and to, you know, not only learn about their current projects, past projects, but also their mission, you know, what, what they, how they envision architecture, what is their role, what, how they want to be impactful, you know, through their designs and projects. So you can actually tailor your, 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 your pitch um, around that. So you can actually tie, I don't know, um, one of your projects you know, what, one of the goals that the project uh, kind of uh, pursue to another project that they have done or they have in their portfolio. That, that will actually uh, position yourself immediately within their, um, you know, work frame. And six, prove your uniqueness. I always say that everyone has a special touch, so you have to be clever about this. Uh, we tend to always show 
you know, all what we've done in the past, whether it was at school or in previous, uh, you know, uh, positions. And that, that doesn't help always. That doesn't mean that it's relevant work. So you have to be clever and very, very selective of what you want to highlight or bring to the table, right? Not only in your portfolio, but also in the conversation. So if, if you are really great in hand, hand sketching, why are you going to be talking about, I don't know, construction detailing if you haven't if you have never worked on that right so make sure that um, you know you tailor your again your your your, your pitch um, and and highlight your skill sets uh, towards what type of architecture they do you, you know what type of softwares they use and you know the aesthetics and and how they approach to architecture so they without you saying they understand that you're going to be a great contribution Okay, so let me recap. So you, uh, before you leave, you know exactly what you should always take into consideration in order to make a great first impression. So one, be authentic. So you start building like a strong relationship based on credibility and authenticity. Two, be honest. Everyone wants to see that, you know, you know where you are uh, and, and where you want to go next, but always in an honesty frame. Three, highlight your value. What have been your accomplishments in the past and how you actually learn from them that is going to help you to contribute in your next endeavor. Four, show determination. Uh, make sure that you clearly state what are your expectations and you know what are your goals on long, in long term, uh, not only professionally but also uh, in life. Five, shape your pitch. Make sure that you know you do your research and that you can tailor all your conversation um, around what the company's mission and you know expectations are. And six, prove your uniqueness. So make sure that um, you have clear, you know, what skill sets might interest them. So you mention or you highlight the stress, you know, your proficiency in those. So I think that's all. Um, let me know if you have ever come across with a situation where you just um, feel like, oh my God, uh, what am I supposed to say? Like, um, you know, everyone is like really strong at something, as I said, but all of a sudden when you have to sell yourself, uh, you just run out of, you know, resources and you just don't know what to say. I think that this is obviously something that hasn't been um, train us um, or told uh, in school you know this would, I always say when I go to universities to give lectures that there should be a marketing um, marketing or sales uh, you know um, communications public speaking course or something to actually help us not only articulate our ideas in front of a jury in front of a client in front of a boss but also to make sure that we can talk about ourselves and in the best possible way to to um you know pitch who we are as as professionals and, and as human beings so hopefully you found this useful i cannot wait to see your comments please let me know about where you are in your career if you have um, you know, experience something like this. I, I, I cannot um, wait to listen and subscribe here if you find it uh, valuable, interesting. See you next time.